What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel today, here for episode 25 of Madden 22 Pink Slips in the biggest episode, at least in Madden 22 Pink's history, as we're getting our biggest acquisition in Madden 22 Pink's history. I'll let you guys vote on it, we will get to what you guys wanted to see me do. You did not go with the direction I was saying, which is always awesome, because that adds that little bit of randomness that doesn't really exist in Madden franchise mode, even for a series as outrageous as Pink Slips. So, what happened in the last episode? Yes, we did lose Week 15. We already lost our player to the 12-2 and Seattle Seahawks that have Cam Newton, who's unstoppable, and Nick Chubb. They beat us in the freaking Super Bowl last year. But earlier in the episode, last episode, actually the first game, we won a five-star performance. We spun the wheel, and it, it was um, pick a team. We had a plus-10 upgrade to improve any player on our squad. And there were some players that were... I got a, still got the sheet of paper, even my kid written all over it. We had potentially getting Lamar Jackson, Scary Terry, Noah Fant, Suell on the offensive line. I was kind of leaning towards Ed Oliver at defensive tackle. We had Antoine Winfield Jr. and or Jabril Peppers at safety. And here is what we got from the people. We had assistant coach Phillip said, yeah, gotta get Lamar. You don't want another episode where the cinema is absolutely broken. It gives you cheese losses 66% of the games in an episode. Lamar is good in sim. And we'll actually give you a chance to win. I also included the most upvoted is, is it even upvoted? Thumbs up was from Sam. I'd go Kylo Vermeer, better passer and similar runner. Use the rest of the points on a D tackle. Now, the rule, I, I don't know if it's unwritten or official. I think we've talked about it before in the plot. Is that when you get, a, you know, any team, you got to at least keep it on that specific team. And there's just no upgrade to be had on the Colts. Like if we wanted to go D tackle. You know, you'd get Kyler Murray. That's only a plus one, right? A plus one to use there. So you have nine on D-Tackle. And there's not, like, I don't know, man. I mean, even then, I don't think I've ever used a plus 10 and had the get it from any player, any team, and used it to get multiple players. Usually it's just one swoop. So with that being said, of the options that I provided, oh, man. This is, this is the trade, man. I mean, hey, let's be honest. Mac Jones... He's played well for us. Not so much this season. He, he's very much a pink slips quarterback through and through. He's had multiple upgrades, that 98 throw power. At times, he felt like he'd become a, a pink's legend, like Tom Savage. It's just, I don't know, man. I feel like he's just missing something. I, I don't know what that something is. Like He's on pace to have it's his career year this year. But it's, I, I, I don't know. There's just, this year, there's been some questionable games from Mac Jones where it's like, you know, Tom Savage never had to get to the peaks of an 87 overall for him to feel like our guy. You know what I'm saying? So Mac Jones is gone, and I'm a Lamar Jackson fan. I am a big-time Lamar Jackson fan. This is the first time I think I've ever got to play with Lamar Jackson outside of, like, rebuilding the Ravens. This is the first time I've played with a quarterback that's this good since probably Michael Vick in Madden 04. So... I'm actually, I'm generally excited. I think this is ultimately going to remember too, not necessarily from the storyline and, and, and like the who, the homerism of Pink Slips in this series. I'm like, oh, well, Mac Jones has been in with us for, what, two seasons now? He's been our guy. He's not really, I don't think, got to the level of Quez Watkins has. I think Quez Watkins still the bell of the ball in this series. And Mac Jones, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, if this was like, you know, we could upgrade Quez Watkins and get uh Devontae Adams something like that like the best one going from going from a really good player to one of the best players I think I'd feel worse like getting rid of Quez Watkins at this time than I do Mac Jones so I'm excited for the opportunity Lamar Jackson is now quarterback one in pink slips and I think that for me that's maybe the change that this squad needs to go on and win the Super Bowl this year and also for me I can't wait to play with Lamar Jackson it's a new acquisition that this series needed to inject some life into things and let's see if A, Lamar Jackson is going to be unstoppable, he caters to my play style, are we just going to rush for 300 freaking yards every game? Or B, is he going to be like Jamar Chase? Is he going to be like Chase Young? And be very high overall, should be amazing, when we hop on the sticks and actually get in and play with them, a little bit underwhelming, let's hope that's not the case, let's go Lamar. So a very quick little bit of housekeeping that needs to get done before we close out year three here of Pink Slips, at least the regular season, Lamar Jackson, let's get a preview of him in our jerseys. Also, he's getting the captaincy badge from Mac Jones so he can't get poached if we do lose a game in a sim. And Lamar, 
looks pretty good. We have three games left this season to close out the regular season. We gotta figure out what team we're playing. We have the Falcons, Panthers, and Browns. Need to get a quick look here at their rosters just to see in an ideal situation if we can get a realistic three, four, five star win. What team possesses the better players that we could try to bring in? And I, well, we got Mahomes. I don't really think that's an upgrade though. Really? Like I would assume maybe the consensus would believe that Lamar Jackson is probably the better Madden quarterback than Patrick Mahomes. So we're looking at the secondary options here. Justin Jefferson. That'd be a tight. You know, I don't. I don't really know what situation we have to drop for us to get a ninety. Was he playing 95, 94 overall wide receiver? That's probably out of the card. So it's like, all right, what, what else do we have? Isaiah Simmons could be interesting. That's about it. So we got the Panthers are another matchup. I'd say right now Atlanta, well, Atlanta's only one, but they're pretty low. Uh, they got Miles Garrett, Antoine Winfield. We know that's a plus 10. That was on the cards. Jamel Dean. Don't really need corners, but could bring in a Matt Milano or Kenneth Murray at linebacker would be pretty good. Jeff Okuda got some depth there. Okay. I would say Panthers are definitely ahead of the Falcons in the pecking order. And then we have the Browns, our only AFC opponent, which could be maybe a little bit more valuable in terms of playoffs. They get Aaron Donald, J.J. Watts, a little bit of an older roster here. Tremaine Edmonds could be a nice player, potentially, that we could bring in. Mo Hurst, Kadarius Toney. I mean, that's that's an easy dub. We win getting Kadarius Toney. He'd come on. I like that actually a lot. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. First of all, easily Atlanta is like the least enticing team to play. So we're going to sim against Atlanta. We're going to see where our record stands and then get maybe a bigger picture view on where the Browns are at. It's that Brown game, maybe two teams fighting out for a playoff spot and that, add, and that really ups the importance of that matchup. So let's let's first things first, sim this Atlanta game and see where we're at after that. Well, it's kind of good to get the sim game right out of the way to see is, is Lamar legit. The comment suggesting to get Lamar Jackson said he's legit in the sim. Let's see it. He's going to be a quarterback that's going to be reliable in the sim. Maybe that's another thing that kind of went against Mac Jones a little bit. And I don't want to necessarily lump Mac Jones in with the downfalls of a Madden sim. But Mac Jones was, you know, we'll see right now. Is it the team? Is it the Madden sim that's inconsistent? Or was there just something about Mac Jones that wasn't particularly good? And uh, it's not super hot right now. Down a decent a bit. No chance to hop. We are getting cooked, man. Our, is our team just not good enough? We're an 84 overall. Should be good. Like, I already know. Like, this is bad. This is like one of those ones, even if I was playing the moments, I don't... Like, 49 points on defense. Jesus Christ. Fucking bullshit. Um, uh, so, looking at it, uh, we lost. And they... Okay, well, we lost and we lost by 21. So, there's two stars right there for Atlanta. Uh, looking at their player performances. Maybe it's just they had Mahomes. I don't know. Mahomes got one full star going over 300 yards passing. Three passing touchdowns. He hit on four. Two rushing touchdowns for Mostert is worth a half star. We have over 100 receiving yards for Justin Jefferson, which is worth a half star. We have on the... I mean, if you want, if you really want to also nitpick, uh, ETN had over... Actually, no, he didn't. He did have 150 yards. He's going to suck it. But on the defensive side, two sacks for Harold Landry is worth a half star. An interception for Isaiah Simmons is worth a half star. Ultimately, it's a five-star performance for Atlanta. Because we simmed, we have it, and round up. So it's a three-star performance, plus six upgrade incoming for the Falcons. Did I have fun last match? Did I have fun having my pretty good team get shit-pumped? No, I did not. So it's a plus six. It's a big loss, even when you're getting halved. And here is how, if I was the Falcons, I would spend that plus six. So they're going to send us Hunter Renfro, 81 star dev slot wide receiver, which is going to probably have us adjust our lineup and have to kick Quez Watkins back outside, which is where we don't really want him. And we're going to get Anthony Harris, 77 star dev, former Val uh, Viking, now on the Eagles. Actually hasn't been really good for the Eagles at all. And they're going to get Terrell Burgess, who's an 81 star dev in his prime safety. And the Canadian Chase Claypool, the pair with Justin Jefferson. It's it's easily the plus six I would use if I was the Atlanta Falcons, and that's what happens when apparently Lamar just falls flat on his debut here in Pink Slips. So with that loss, now look at the playoff picture with two games remaining. We still are in the playoffs. Seventh seed, the last one. We actually have the Panthers right now who are also the seventh seed on the other side of the bracket. There's no Browns. The Browns are actually the second worst team. So I'm... There's two ways to think of this. Like one, you would think that 
the Browns should be the easier game, so we should sim that one. But also, it's like that should also be the game that we hundred percent should win. You know, you know, like I feel like I feel like in either scenario, we're probably gonna play more moments than what we have been playing because we really should need to win both these two games here. So I think we'll just do that, man. We'll play the moments here against Carolina. We'll play that Week 18 game, get that for sure win against the worst team that's like left on our schedule. So that for sure, like no nine wins, regardless of what happens after, we're gonna finish with nine wins. Hopefully, that's good enough to get us that number seven spot in the playoffs. If not, let's just win both these games. We have Carolina going up against Miles Garrett. You know what? No one knows. No, you know knows a thing or two about going up about Miles Garrett, Lamar Jackson. Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Play the moments. Lamar is in San Antonio. Knows the first game wasn't super hot. But knows what he needs to do this week. And uh, not getting a whole lot of moments here. But we are able to get a computer touchdown. 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. feel like this is going to be a game that I might have to uh, play some defense. Because there's just some something about my... like I, Our defense is good. We have two super strikes factors at corner. And it's not all... It, but it's not like the other teams are running on us. Like they're just throwing it on us. Even though that's the strength of our squad. Oh, Tommy Trouble off the deflection! Let's go, man. Let's go. That's huge. That's, that's a kind of that's kind of bounce that you need. Can the defense take that? And they, they actually can't. We can get a nice little two-minute drill. We didn't nothing amounts from it. Really like okay, let's come in here, man. It's just inconsistent defense. Like I, I don't I don't like the fact that's where my defense is at. Once we make the playoffs, there's no more relying on the sim, which is good. I think we need to get to that because there's just something about this sim that does not want to see my team succeed. Oh, man. Is this what it's going to be like playing with Lamar Jackson? Is this what, like, all the people do in Madden all the team? Like, I will say this, man. I suck at this game. Well, I don't say I suck at this game. I'm not good at Madden. But, like, when you see all the people play, like, Mutt that are insane, they, they, like, the game's just easier with guys like Lamar Jackson. What? I just, I could have done it with my eyes closed. 22 miles per hour, which is absurd. Okay, third down is coming here. Try to get a stop. Third and five. We got Oway back from injury. Montez Sweat. Who they got under center? They got Tom Brady. Old man Brady. Bring some pressure. We got it right in his face. Is at the line. He got it, man. Come on. Tom Brady, 25 of 34. <sighs> Let's go, man. We can score with them. Like we could score with them all damn dead. We got Quez Watkins here. Oh, they're in that thing. They're in their, their home field advantage here. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this because this is like all you need to do. Thank God. I showed it to everybody that said get Lamar Jackson. Because every time I'm hopping in and they are not, you know, spying me, I'm gonna make them look foolish. Uh we I want to score quickly here too. Because I know they're probably gonna do something stupid when they get the ball. So we got Renfro on a slant. That's our, he might be one of the best slant runners in the NFL. Or I'm just going to do this. Like, there's no there's no linebacker presence. That That is a very soft middle of defense. It's like they're encouraging Lamar Jackson to run here. So let's go, D. Get a stop. They punt it. I'm coming in right now. We're going to try to win this game. Let's put it away. Oh my god, terrible tackling from the Carolina Panthers. Go Najee out the backfield. I don't know what I need to do to get Lamar Jackson's X Factor. I should double check that. Because we now have that as a thing an X Factor quarterback. What does it say? Whatever. I don't even care what it says. We need to make some plays with his arm. Hey man, this is like I. I mean, I'm not. You can't expect, but we're losing. We need everything that we can to potentially go our way. Okay, we're gonna make it a uh, two clock. You know, is Lamar Jackson running to become the new slants as long as he's my quarterback? She just can't stop us. And any like, why weren't we running the ball in the sim? You know, seems kind of easy. I think we've solved the puzzle that is the Carolina Panthers in this game. Let's just run it. We're like, no, this is Lamar Jackson. Just like, we need to change our playbooks, maybe. 
Do I try? Re I feel like read option is not going to be... It's, it's going to be easier to just drop back in the pocket and be able to read it. So let's do a uh, quick pass. Quick slants. Might be better have Lamar in the shotgun in this situation, but he's still so quick. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Would love to actually throw a touchdown here. See what Lamar's like as a thrower. Don't, but I don't need to. He's a cheat code. Imagine if we get like pink special or something like that. I'm going to give him 99 speed, 99 acceleration. 57 seconds. Can the defense get a stop? Let's come in, man. Usually I would just sim this one out and just throw something because you know they're probably going to score. They have no timeouts. We keep this inbounds. This game's most likely over. We're going to bring Owe on the pressure. Gets eaten up fairly good. We have three guys in the area. And none of them... Did you see that tackling? All, none of my players switched on. They all literally like jogged. Look at this. Brett didn't want to tackle. That's who I was selected on. I need, I need to watch that again. Are you kidding me? Watch this. Okay, here. I'm on Verrett. I switched to Verrett right now. All right? And that right here, I'm like, all right, let's switch to literally one of these other guys. So the other two at that look like switched to him. Didn't want to make the tackle. That's fucking unbelievable. Bomb to Quez. Right, we can still get in field goal. We have all of our timeouts, so maybe we get two plays off here. Whoa. Pink slips. You want a pink slips victory? That's a pink slips victory, baby. Let's go! Looking like Tom Savage in the flesh. Zeros on the clock. Hail Mary. Jeff Okuda, what's going on? Quez Watkins. Was technically wide receiver two when Claypool was here. We lose Claypool. Quez becomes wide receiver one. And that's his big time play. And I'll say this. Very disappointed from our defense from a sim standpoint. Incredibly impressed with Lamar Jackson. So looking at the results here, we won the game, which is worth one star. For our player stats, Lamar Jackson with three passing touchdowns gets a half star, and we just crushed it on the ground with Lamar Jackson on the ground. Over 100 yards rushing, over two rushing touchdowns with three there. That is one full star for Lamar Jackson. Quez Watkins loving Lamar as his QB and loves being wide receiver one on this team. 10 catches, 196 yards, two touchdowns for Quez, one full star there. And uh, unfortunately, no score on the defense. The defense was incredibly piss poor today. So it ends up being a three and a half star performance because we played the moments, half simmed it. You have it, you round up. It's a two star performance plus four upgrade that we can get from the Carolina Panthers ahead of this regular season finale where we should crush the Cleveland Browns. So for a victory, I'm only actually gonna spend three of the four points that we can upgrade, but it's pretty good. We're using zero just Maybe that's the, the, the difference maker makes it a little more less cheesy. Does that make sense? Great English there. But 79 Jace for Rat, he's 32. And even though we got cooked, he's still a little bit more upside in Jeff Okuda. 79 star dev at only 24. So he will be our third corner option behind Greg Newsom and Tredavious White. But here is actually a really good upgrade. Only plus 3-2. So we're going to be setting 77 normal dev D tackle. Ashawn Robinson, who's our D tackle one. And it's not close. And we kind of started this thing, man. I wanted Ed Oliver. I was kind of leaning towards Ed Oliver because I really wanted a beast at defensive tackle. You guys wanted Lamar Jackson. And, you know, the universe kind of set itself because they have Evan Rushing, 80 overall X-Factor D tackle. A rookie who is, there you go, man. We got our D tackle. Able to get Lamar and also get a really good defensive tackle. Let's go. It's now week 18. Look at the playoff picture. We were 7th seven seed and we've gone all the way up to the four seed so that makes me feel pretty good regardless of the result here against bottom dweller cleveland brown squad that still has a lot of talent aaron donald jj watt odell Beckham, guys like that i think we did enough to punch our ticket to the playoffs but i've seen crazier things happen and look how close the afc south is you know one game we if we lose this game there's a chance that like we're third place the jags and the titans could potentially leapfrog us um but we did have a player of the week clearly lamar jackson was 
unstoppable. So he's going to be able to get a plus two upgrade ahead of this matchup, which I think we obviously are probably going to want to spend uh, more so on his accuracy and stuff like that. But it's about time we start making him, you know, pink slippy. And I, I don't think, I think it's a little too egregious to upgrade the throw power here because that's kind of tied to the spin the wheel and stuff like that. So I think everything outside of throw power for a quarterback should be in play. So for Lamar Jackson, I mean, we could go plus two carry. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't. Um, plus two change of direction. Nope. Plus two spin. Nope. Plus two juke. Nope. All right. Well, let's just pretty much do what plus two will affect him in, in terms of his rate. Right there gives him something. Medium throw. Bring up a little bit. Deep throw. Like, will any of these things give him 99 impro improviser? Because that'd be pretty cool. I don't think any of them do. So look at these. Let's just kind of... I mean, mid-accuracy. Let's just help him out a little bit where he's the lowest rated, I guess. And without further ado, man, let's just get right into it. Lamar Jackson firing at all cylinders. Let's go handle business against the Cleveland Browns. Make the playoffs. All right, and also while we're here, I didn't want to give away that we got Lamar Jackson in the thumbnail, so that's why I left his number. At 10, we're going to knock him back down to 8. Might as well make it as authentic as possible. There we go. Lamar Jackson. Now, he's gonna, now he looks good. He's going to play good. Let's go, Lamar. Get the mic. Get the friggin' mic in here. Let's go. Number eight, Lamar. What were we saying? I'm saying 300 yards passing, 200 yards rushing. Oh, there we go. Superstar deep tackle. First play, TFL on Chris Carson. Welcome to the Express. I don't want to be salty here. I just need to, I need to look at something. So I was I was rushing here to tackle. Felt like I won my battle against 77, and then when I shoot, I did. So I won my battle 77. Clearly at this point, just get the quarterback, right? Just get the quarterback and look at my guy. He just like gets sucked into another engagement. We we just we just embarrass 77. He got him knocked off his feet, and then we like rather than just going to get the quarterback. We get locked in to another engagement, which lets Carr in double coverage. None of my guys turn around. None of my guys give even a legitimate jump effort. It's a rough play, man. Rough play. Just start with this. Oh, you want to give me rough plays? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Lamar make your defense look really bad. Let's get the check down there. Could have done pretty much anything we wanted to. But let's get Lamar going and get him in a rhythm throwing the ball. Let's just scramble up here into the red zone. That's a late hit. Let's tack on 15. Okay. It's going to be, uh, this is going to be like maybe less explosive plays than we had Mac Jones. But I think we're going to be way more difficult to stop knowing just how good Najee Harris is, how good Lamar Jackson is going to be. We're going to get 400 yards rushing a game. That's going to be it. Third down and 11. Browns trying to extend their drive. Would love to get a defensive stop here. I can't remember the last time we did. We get pressure. Shit, it may have been picked by Newsom. We'll take the glorified PBU, even though PBU's drop, you know, should be short for dropped interception. Let's get the ball back. Okay, Tommy Tremble. Big time catch. In it to Browns territory. We stay in the pocket. We do stay in the pocket at Renfro. Should have got a touchdown there. And there's the second rushing touchdown of the game. Let's go. Let's get that touchdown. Oh, almost got there. Gotta remember, dude, we have injuries on. Getting this loose, getting this exposed, potentially with Lamar out in space. Could come back to bite us in the ass. Let's give this one here to Najee Harris. I'm on right now. I'm thinking let's get him four touchdowns. Let's get him one full pink slip star with his touchdowns alone. Come on, someone get there. Let's go. Can we give three half sacks? Third and 22. I'm thinking about... They're going no huddle. I was getting ready to call a timeout there. All right. Chance to put up even more points before halftime. Am I really worried about the Browns offense? Has done nothing so far. Not really. In one good drive. 
Just get that first down. Burn no time out. Oh. oh, it's disgusting. He's the best player I've ever played with in Madden 22. Easily. Got six seconds. Still have a timeout. Plenty of time here to score. Do it yourself, man. Just do it yourself. Let's go quick. Oh, look at that blocking. Was that John Ross? John Ross coming. Heinz Ward out there with the blocking. Set. That was all. That was all him. I mean, obviously, Quez did a great job. Good run after the catch. Good vision. But if that wide receiver doesn't get that block, that's getting tackled on like the ten. Look at this block. Just uh, eating up 35. Whoever that is, full kudos to you. I think it was John Ross. Let's go, Quez. Get in there, buddy. Another touchdown. Grease that wheel up. It's the third quarter. Grease the wheel up. Boys, Lamar Jackson is absurd. Absolutely absurd. We're winning this. I, I'm not losing another game as long as I'm on the stick for Lamar. Is this what I've been missing playing with like great players? And I don't know anyone. I, you know what? I actually retract that statement because we've played with great players and they haven't. Like this is the first time a great player has actually panned out for us. Chase Young was not great. Chase Young. Uh, Chase. Uh, Jamar Chase was not great. Lamar Jackson is. Come on. There we go. Get Tutty Four. Tutty Four. Good God. I think we got 60 points once before this. Maybe we can equal that. Keeping our dogs out there. Hopefully no injuries pop up. Quez. Let's go. And man, this is exactly how you want to close your season. From being, you know, two episodes away from... I think we just choked it and we're going to suck and we're not going to win. To getting Lamar Jackson and finishing out with a 63-14. to 14. I mean, the Browns... Had nothing to play for, but we fully flexed him. And we had an injury free, which is great. So we won the game. We won by 21, which is with one full star. We won the turnover battle, which is worth a half star. Looking at our player stats, Lamar Jackson, 300 yards, four touchdowns. Gets one star for that, as well as a half star for going over 100 rushing yards. No 100-yard rushing yards for Najee Harris, but four rushing touchdowns. Gives him also one full star. Massive game from Quez Watkins, 204 yards, four touchdowns. That is one full star for Quez Watkins, a half star for Tremble. For going over a half, uh, 100 yards. Then on the defensive side, we have three TFLs for Montez Sweat, which is worth a half star, and one interception by Trey White. I was simming out the end of the game, uh, which is also worth a half star. Finishes up as a total of seven and a half stars. Doesn't really exist unless we get like a 10, and then we can start talking about that, but that's probably never gonna happen. It's a five star performance plus 10 upgrade and a spin of the wheel. Let's go. So you should know all the wheel options right now. We have pick a team, which is plus 10 upgrade across the league. Dev increase is dev increase for one of our players. Plus 20 means we can attack the Browns with a plus 20 upgrade or pink special, which is plus three throw power, three sprint speed, three acceleration for one of our players. Let's go. I don't really think there's a bad option here. Really, I guess dev increase, but then maybe we have a superstar that we make an X factor and gain some abilities for the playoff run. So I'd say really dev increase, probably the lowest one. We got pinks special. Plus three throw power coming to Lamar Jackson. Why not, right? Make him even more power. Plus three sprint speed acceleration. Also could just go to Lamar Jackson. So we know now with this victory that we did make the playoffs. I don't know where our exact, you know, final who we're playing or anything like that is. But we know we made the playoffs. Let's just kind of finish this episode out here with the upgrade. You guys get to decide. And as always, I will pin in the comments what the upgrades cost. It's a plus 10 upgrade. And here are the players. There's some fairly interesting ones, you know, with some stacks too that also kind of make some sense. So it's going to be a multiple player type acquisition. So first and foremost, we're going to start the wide receiver room. We have Odell Beckham Jr., who has a lot of ups and downs here, but he's a 90 overall. It would cost us plus nine to upgrade from Hunter Renfro to bring in Odell Beckham Jr. Now, I'm not a big OBJ fan, but this could just be... The, the matchup, the pairing that we need to pair with Quez Watkins. So that is a plus nine upgrade to get OBJ. Look at someone like Kadarius Tony. It's a plus one upgrade to upgrade from Devin Duvernay to, to Kadarius Tony. So that way there you can maximize your plus 10. So just keep an eye on this is a plus one. 
for some of these other player options as well, we should be able to squeeze it in, and my Gator bias wants to because I love Tony. He was awesome for Florida. Uh, we have on the offensive line, Elton Jenkins, who is a 90 overall. It would cost us plus 8 to upgrade Cesar Ruiz, who's our current right guard. They're bringing Elton Jenkins. Could be a nice, wise move. Help the offensive line going forward, even though, you know, we were running the ball just fine in this episode. Go to the defensive side of the ball. Here's an interesting one. Aaron Donald's a 98 overall, so it would cost us 9 points to upgrade from Montez Sweat to get Aaron Donald. Montez Sweat's an 89. Well, obviously, no athletic ability off the charts, but he's an 89 superstar. We could, you know, upgrade plus 9, get Aaron Donald, get an X-Factor, and really kind of submit that we're going all in for a Super Bowl victory. So Aaron Donald is on the cards. That could be kind of disgusting. At defensive tackle, we can bring in Mo Hurst. Guy that's had some history here on the channel. It cost us plus nine to upgrade Davion Nixon. Here's a 72 to go bring out Maurice Hurst to help solidify the defensive line. He'd be defensive tackle two on our squad right now. Uh, and then finishing up, we're going into the secondary. At free safety, we have Ronnie Harrison Jr. Morales taking a big hit, but he's an 85 overall. It would cost us eight points to upgrade to get Ronnie Harrison Jr. from uh, Anthony Harris, who we downgraded to uh, not too long ago. What? You know, he's a solid player, good big-time hitter. Or we have another player who's had some history on the channel. Jordan Poyer would cost us a plus-7 upgrade to upgrade from Jalen Hawkins to Jordan Poyer, and I assume Rachel Bush would be coming with him. So for the memes, Jordan Poyer is very intriguing. It's, you know, he's a good player, hell of a player, superstar, brings some ability on the back end of the defense. But I need you guys to decide. Ahead of our playoff run, what scenario... So, AKA, it's going to be literally any of these guys, plus I will bring in Kadarius Tony because it's only a plus one. Which one of those is going to help us on our playoff run? I don't even know if it matters with how good Lamar Jackson's being. But then again, we all saw what happened last year. You run into Seattle Seahawks with an unstoppable Nick Chubb and an unstoppable Cam Newton, and sometimes there's only so much you can do. So, let me know. Odell Beckham, are we getting Elton Jenkins, Aaron Donald, Maurice Hurst, Ronnie Harrison, or Jordan Poyer with Rachel Bush? Let me know in the comment section below. And we'll be back probably Monday. Let us see, tomorrow's going to be Realistic Rebuild. Then on Sunday, we'll probably talk about the Eagles. So yeah, Monday will be the next episode to kick off this playoff run here in year three of Pink Slips. So get you to get some time. You get no rush, no panic. You can take a day to think about it. But let me know in the comment section below what player you want to see. Thank you very much for deciding Lamar Jackson because that was awesome. I uh, had a blast playing with him. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Until next time, it's C4. Sam, peace out.